as promised, after we did our Barney's liquidation haul video, we are speaking about four of the Comme des Garçons Series 3 incense fragrances, which features Avignon, Zagorsk, Jaisalmar, and Kyoto. If you want to find out about these four fragrances, we are missing Warzazat because I don't own it currently. And one of you guys had commented and said that it was sold at Lucky Scent, so I haven't bought it, but we are going to speak about the four. So if you want to find out about these four incense series fragrances from the house of Comme des Garçons, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, incense is in the house today. Incense series three fragrances from the house of Comme des Garçons. Sadly, I've never smelled Warzazat, but we are speaking about Avignon, Zagorsk, Jaisalmar, and Kyoto. So we're going to do that right now, but if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews and discovering new fragrances and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Are you a fan of the Incense Series 3 fragrances from Comme des Garçons? They're iconic at this point. Are they? Mm-hmm. When did you first discover the Incense Series? Um... I don't know if I can honestly say I discovered them. They've been a part of fragrance for as long as I've been aware that fragrance is a thing. So let me tell you the story about my discovery. Good. My sister sent me a candle for my birthday one year, back around 2005. And she gave me this really wonderful candle from the house of Comme des Garçons, not Comme des Garçons, but um, Hotel Coast. Oh! Amazing candle. So it was from Lucky Scent. She lives in the LA area. And they had included samples of the incense series. I'm like, okay, what are these? I said to myself when I smell them. They smell like church to me. But I fell in love with Avignon and I got a bottle of Avignon and I dropped it in the bathroom. No. And broke a bottle of Avignon. Isn't it metal? <laughs> it breaks. Oh, and the bathroom God. smelled like church for days, days. That it's not terrible. That no, it's not, part. it's not. It's not terrible, but that's my story of how I got to love these fragrances. I've had Avignon forever since around then. I've worn Zagorsk, which is the um, Russian Orthodox Church fragrance. So now, are each of these named for cities? So Avignon is a city I've been to. It's a church. It's a Catholic. It used to be the center of the Catholic religion. Zagorsk. I don't know what it. It might be a city. It might be a city, but it stands for the Orthodox, which is what I grew up, how I grew up, Orthodox Christian. Uh, you've got uh, Kyoto, which is the Japanese... What religion are they? Is it Buddhist? They're Buddhist, right? There's Shinto as well. But Shinto? I don't know. And then, uh, last but not least, the Jai Salmar is the Hindu. And so these are all supposed to be churchy. Yeah, they're supposed to be inspired by the different religions. And I believe Warzazat is the the Muslim or the Arab religion, but I've never smelled that one, sadly. They're not metal. They're like glass. They break. <laughs> I've experienced the break. Oh, man. I've only dropped a few bottles in my lifetime, but definitely at the early on of my journey with this is Avignon. Yeah, my, my whatever, I was trying to th answer your question. I was trying to think of an answer of what my relationship with this is and what my first uh, impression or encounter of it. There was an Yves Saint Laurent, uh, fragrance, I think in the 90s, maybe it was the 80s, called New, and it came in this weird little silver circle. Um, oh, you've mentioned that before. Right, and that one, um, that one is such a big incense, it it was like, it wore me. I was lost in YSL it. YSL fragrance wore you. It was so strong. Wow. I don't think it's, I don't think they make it anymore, but um, They really, do, they do still, it's in a new bottle. Um, it's a really cool, I mean, it was very innovative bottle design. And then... Um, so that reminded you of this? or the, the This reminded me of that, in that Avignon is a very big incense. And it it never blends with my skin. It just sort of sits on my skin in this cloud of incense. Hmm. Um, which is, it's very beautiful. Um, it wears also a little masculine on me. I think the notes are pretty masculine. They're also very cold notes. But mm -hmm. funny thing with Avignon is it dries to a vanillic sweet incense on me. Oh, really? And I don't know where the vanilla comes from. It just sweetens up. Maybe it's my chemistry mixing with the notes. 
but it does get really sweet. Should we tell them what the notes are? So with this one, we've got myrrh, incense, olibanum, cedar, labdanum, chamomile, elemi, Brazilian rosewood, spices, patchouli, oak moss, ambre, vanilla musk. Sadly, it um, doesn't have the great longevity. So it's not like the longest lasting incense. If you want a long lasting incense, you can go with something like Reb de Ocean, or even Casba, I think has been, Casba and this one, I think have the similar longevity, five to six hours, I think. But if you want like a beast mode incense, Le jo what, what's the one from Jovoy? Um, Oh, uh, Liturgie des Herbes. Yeah, La Liturgie des Herbes. That, that one's very resinous. It doesn't have that same churchy cold churchy co feel. Okay. For a long lasting. Um, cold incense? We'll have to figure out maybe that one. Eta Libra's incense? I mean, that's not cold, it's more aldehyde. The Rien? Mm -hmm. That's or, very long lasting. It's very long lasting, but it's also an animalic leather incense, not necessarily a church incense to well, me either. Well, the intense one. But the, just the regular Rien, I don't get a lot of animalic. Hmm. I'll have to compare. It doesn't remind me of church, but this one definitely does remind me of the church. In fact, this actually reminds me of the Christian Orthodox Church I grew up in more than Zagorsk because there's something different about Zagorsk. That's Kyoto. Oh, that's Kyoto. This is Zagorsk right here. I've got too many in my hands. Um, here, I'll let you hold that one. <laughs> so Zagorsk is one that I've worn before and I stopped wearing it, but I just recently picked it up in the Barney's liquidation discount that you had watched. Series 3 Incense Zagorsk is pine tree, incense, birch wood, olibanum, cedar, hinoki wood, iris, chili pepper, and violet. Oh, wow. For me, the Zagorsk is even colder than how cold Avignon is. So if you want a colder and more austere incense that smells like wood chippings or wood shavings or it pencil is. shavings, it's that's what this smells like. Smoky pencil shavings. I don't get any kind of coldness from Zagorsk. I do see what you mean about Avignon. It's sort of like it, there's something about it that feels reminiscent of stone. Zagorsk is very dry, very like. I think the dryness is what I picture as being cold. Mm. I don't find any warmth in this fragrance whatsoever. It's not a warm fragrance. Now, speaking of a few of the others that are on here, I'm going to tell you. I feel like out of all of them, Jai Salmar is the warmest because it has cloves and cinnamon. It's a mm. spicy and also cardamom. But for me, Zagorsk is very cold. It just smells like wood shavings or wood chippings. I don't get cold because I don't... Um, but it is just sort of dry and it's very... Um, Uh, like there's no, there's no moisture there. There's no dampness. There's no, it's not living wood. It's been, it's chopped. Right. So the wood shippings, shavings that you mentioned is definitely a part of it. Um, so so I, it doesn't, you don't experience it cold. Mm -mm, just dead. Just not, dead. Not in a zombie apocalypse, just dead, like not. Re dead wood. <laughs> there was a show called Dead Wood. <laughs> Tumbleweed. Yes, um, it's 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 just dry. Very. Um... I mean, I could see that. I totally experienced the dryness and the ch chippings, but that's all very cold to me. I don't know. Okay. There's no warm notes in the notes for me. But we experience fragrances differently. I still like you. I still like you. <laughs> anyway, those are my differences. Have you worn Zagorsk? I remember really liking Zagorsk. Actually, smelling it now. I don't like it as much as Avignon. Oh. Um, Avignon does remind me of Casba, which is one of my, like, holy grail fragrances. We have reviewed Casba, by the way. If you haven't watched it, go mm -hmm. watch it. Go watch it. Um, Avignon? Avignon I haven't worn. There is a vanilla note. It makes sense that it would dry down to a vanilla, and Rev Lausanne also has a sort of vanilla quality, so maybe that's what made you think of it. Um, this is the most famous one, though. I yeah, think Avignon everybody. is the most famous. It's like a reference for incense. Like you, It's sort of impossible, I think, to talk about incense without talking about this series from Comme des Garçons. Yeah, and if you ever get a chance to go to Avignon, even better, go to the church there, because it's pretty amazing. But you can experience it here in this fragrance. <laughs> so, so um, Kyoto or let's do Jai Selmar because I feel like Jai Selmar is my new love, and I never wore it before. I had smelled it in passing, but now that I've been wearing it, oh my god, it smells really, really warm. It's the warmest out of all of them, and the reason is it has incense, it has cardamom, black pepper, cinnamon, guyac wood, ebony wood, chili pepper, amber, benzoin, red berries. All of those notes. The guyac wood really comes through. Very, very um, warm. It has lots of warm 
touches. And spicy kind yeah, of. Yeah, spicy. It's in the same way that I said Zagorsk was dead. Apologies if anybody from Comte de Garçon is watching. Um, how do you say it? Jaisalamar? Jaisalamar. Jaisalamar is, is much, is very alive. Um, it is warm. Um, there's things kind of just happening and moving. The chili pepper. It seems maybe? a lot more lively as lively. well. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, it seems like it's warmer, pl plus there's like movements are all around with all the different notes. But in the same way that, like, Avignon smells like incense. When you talk to somebody, uh, some even somebody who's not into fragrance, and you, and you were to say, you know, is this incense? I think anyone would say that Avignon is. Whatever your background, if there's an association there that, you know, this is what incense smells like. Zagorsk, I think, is a little more specific. You have that reference for it from your faith, that your church would have this drier kind of incense version that's not as immediate an association for me as an mm. incense. Mm. And this is a similar thing. Like, it is it is incense, it, but it's less of a... It's, a, it's a, again, a slightly more maybe specific incense with these other, you know, maybe... Maybe because... India is known for spices. They decided to throw in the different spices. I don't know what um, what role incense plays in. I don't. I don't know enough about. I think the faith. Religiously, there. I think all cultures pretty much use incense to burn. Mm. Um, but I don't really know the specifics within each. Religion. We should have been responsible and googled this before we started talking about <laughs> the incenses, but we didn't. So, whatever you know. Let us know. Put yeah. a comment down and let us know if you've practiced, I mean, uh, worn these, not practiced, but if you've worn these. Or if you've practiced. If you've fine. practiced them. But this has become my favorite, the Jai Salmar. And my second favorite has become the last one we're going to talk about today. It is really nice, Jai Salmar. How does it wear? Spicy. Mm. The spices do pop. Just like in Avignon, the, um, the vanilla pops and it warms up. It starts off very cold. With uh, Jai Salmar, you can smell the uh, spices when you spray them but they amplify even further with my body chemistry. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't really worn too much of the Kyoto, but I really like it because it does have some spicy touches as well. Um, there's something sweet and um, almost like fruity in there that comes through a lot in Kyoto. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of, there's a red berries note in here that is credited. So Kyoto has incense, cypress, cedar, vetiver, teakwood, immortel, coffee, patchouli, amber, no red berries. I was mistaken with the red berries in this one. But there is a feel. Like... Like I, there's something sweet in there. You, it's, um, it's almost more... It's almost more of like a, a conifer kind of an incense. Like the woods and the resins from this are from conifers, which I guess maybe... Do you like, think it's the teak wood? Maybe the cypress? I don't know if cypress is a conifer, but... I don't know. I don't know it what I'm getting. A, it could be conif coniferous. It has um, a little... Um, right? Yeah, it does have little fruits or whatever those things are. Conifers. Yeah. Cones. Cones. Oh, like the name. Duh. <laughs> oh. This one is great. This one I kind of picture like... Um, there's a picture I saw in a design magazine one time of a Japanese bathtub that was made out of wood slats, horizontal. It was like this huge, like, immerse yourself in a tub that... Mm. I dream of that. That would be amazing. <laughs> but this, it's sort of, this is what this feels like, is like bathing as almost a religious experience. Like this is very warm, but like on a cold day, like it's cold outside, but warm bath with woods and resins. and. You bring this up quite frequently in my videos. <laughs> you didn't say it today, though. I'll you get said there. spa. <laughs> this has a very spa I was, feel. I was working my way towards the one Like I was thinking I of the kabuki spas here in San Francisco. Okay into them. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. It's a cold but warm at the same time, but more woodsy. Not so incense-y, but it is incense. That's like a woody it is incense. incense. This, I would say, is the most traditionally incense after Avignon. I got my friend to buy this. Really? Yeah, I sent my friend. Um, no, I'm just talking about oh. really as in traditional? Well, like, in terms of, if you were to walk around with these and talk to people who weren't fragrance nerds and say is this incense or not I think you get licorice there is something licorice there I 
I don't, I don't not, but I don't for sure. Do you think it's the ebony wood? I have no idea what ebony wood smells like, but... Ebony ivory. <laughs> you're gonna get, like, some sort of trademark violation. Okay. <laughs> um, no, but it's very resinous. It's very, it's a, it's slightly austere. It's, um, it's a very, like, Avignon as well. Both of them are, I feel, sort of, uh, they're not, like, in your face. They're not very forthcoming. They're, they're, um, they're austere. I don't know how else to say it, but sort of restrained. It's a colder incense. It's a lot easier to wear than Zagorsk. Zagorsk I wore but I had challenging times with it because it really always reminded me of pencil shavings. There's something elegant about Kyoto that mm -hmm. is more simplistic, but still a cold, woody incense. Kyoto smells like it was intentional, very specific. It, um, I've heard that you know people who there, some people are good at baking and some people are good at cooking. People who are good at baking, um, you have to be very exact. You know, if it says a half a cup, they mean a half a cup. You don't kind of just throw in a little extra. It's exact. And I've heard that people who are good at cooking tend to be a little more like a dash of this, uh, you know, extra knob of butter. I feel like uh, Jai... Jai Salmar. Jai Salmar might be somebody who cooks, and Kyoto might be somebody who bakes. It feels very specific. Hmm. But it's not sweet. Know. It's not... I don't mean it, like, in a sweet, literal way. I for just... me, I feel like Avignon is for somebody that prays. Kyoto is for somebody that meditates. It's very meditative for me. I could see that. It's more like spa. It's more zen. It's more yeah. like peaceful, mm -hmm. calm, with those little bells that you can hear in some spas sometimes mm -hmm. that are hanging off of trees and things. That's what I, I visualize this fragrance. Yeah. It's very calming. It's really good. Calm. Yeah, <laughs> unlike the two of us spazzy people here, but... Anyway, we didn't tell you the price point, and do you know if these are Eau de Parfum or are they Eau de Toilette? Uh, but they're 50 ml bottles. It says Comme des Garçons Parfum. And then they are $95 per 50 ml bottle. I can't tell what the, um, pr um, concentration they are, but I think they're Eau de Parfum. It says, hold on. It does say? It, it's Sadly, Eau de Toilette, actually. Oh, okay. Sadly, we have, you know... Barney's stickers on these because they were on the clearance file. And uh, also guys, let us know about Warzazat. Have you sampled it? What does it smell like? Does it smell like these four? Or is it completely different? Because I'd like to find out if it's worth owning. Um, You're a completionist. I feel like so, it's gonna make its way to you. But I don't understand why they never carried it at, I mean, I think eventually, uh, at one point they did carry it at Barney's, but why did they stop carrying it at Barney's? Did it just like, like, just get rid of it? I mean, I, it just there's there's just no meaning as to why they wouldn't carry that one and had carried these four. Couldn't say. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Are you a fan of these fragrances? Do you own them? If you do own one of them or a couple of them, let us know which are your favorites. And also, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.